First at 11, a horrific crash, a driver splitting a car in two and killing a woman who was just minding her own business. It appears that driver was going, going well over the speed limit. The woman who died was rollerblading, yet somehow the two people in that mangled car survived. CBS4's Amber Diaz is live on the scene in Pompano Beach with our top story at 11. Amber. That's right, and we spoke to one eyewitness who says he saw a black SUV chasing that car seconds before the crash, and he wants all the families affected by this tragedy to know there's more to the story. Pompano Beach Fire Rescue says this car was speeding Wednesday afternoon when it hit a tree and split in half. It happened at 601 Northeast 10th Street. The driver and passenger, a man and woman, were ejected from the car, and someone rollerblading on the walking path next to the street was hit and killed. Eyewitness Brad Michaels says there's more. It's not a simple accident. There was more to this than a one car accident. Seconds before the crash, he says a black SUV that must have been going well over 100 miles per hour was chasing that car. It passed him, and seconds later, the car was up in smoke. I was about to call 911 that I saw a black uh, SUV uh, pursuing it. I thought that might have been an undercover officer. And literally 10 seconds later, I saw the car split in two. Uh, bodies laying in the street. He snapped these photos about 10 feet from the crash. The lady that appeared to be ejected from the passenger seat, I saw a wig laying uh, right there by the door, and then another uh, male laying in the street. It looked like he got ejected from the driver's side of the, of the car. He also showed us a map of the area. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. The walking path is something his wife uses weekly, and he feels for the families affected by this tragedy. My thoughts go out to the family of the rollerblader that was minding her own business, just exercising, and, you know, um, uh, if there's any saving grace, I believe she, he or she probably died instantly. And the man and woman ejected from that car are critical at Broward North. In Pompano Beach, Amber Diaz, CBS4 News Tonight.